morning gorgeous ones it's thursday i don't know about you but here where we are in the south coast of the uk um it is absolutely minging we have this lovely bit of spring weather and sunshine and then last night we had the craziest thunderstorm and the garden looked like it had been snowing because it was covered in hail and the hail came down the chimney into the land <laughs> causing hysteria and um it was thunder and lightning and i was messaging i had a client session online client session i was messaging to say like you know if i don't contact you it's because the power's gone off because that can be a bit unpredictable in a place when there's extreme weather and this morning it's still raining it out and it made me think because I was thinking about the weather and my client this morning, um, it made me think about, you know, being a parent to a PDA. There's so much which is the unpredictable, which life always is, isn't it? But we can lull ourselves into a false sense of security, I guess, when we're flowing along with the mainstream traffic a bit more. It is a false sense of security because life is unpredictable and unknown um, but we have become more aware of that unpredictability we're faced with it more each day and whether it's the weather or whether it's your kids reminding you I wanted to invite us collectively today into a gentle reminder that in order to to weather the storms I guess and to cope with the unpredictable we need to allow ourselves to put all kinds of space and buffer around whatever we consider the norm to be in terms of our time, in terms of our energy, in terms of our money. Oh, I need to blow my, why do I need to blow my nose? I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze. Yeah, is it, is it, is it? Me. So, um, allowing that that space, I often talk about space in terms of making space for ourselves for our healing work and our growth work. And here I'm talking about putting that space into a life practice where actually we have unplanned time and not just necessarily time, but resources and um we, we put that space deliberately around us to allow for the unpredictable, but also to allow for the rest, allow for the, the clean up and the clear out, to allow for the processing, the digesting of emotions and thoughts and movement in our life experience and that can be something that we can kind of come into in a cognitive way and think, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, put, you know, I've put a self-care time in the diary on a Wednesday evening or something. But I'm talking about really pushing this to a much further limit of when we look at our, our day or our week or our month or our year ahead, whatever our habits are of putting things in place and kind of cramming, really sitting with that and being curious about where is the space for the unplanned space in that? Where is the space for the processing, the emotions going into an experience, the emotions coming out of an experience for our PDAs and for us, for us to, to heal, for us to process, for us to digest for us to expand, you know, where is that space for us in our planning? And what's in the way of that for us? Because we can carry a lot of ideas and beliefs and expectations inside ourselves, you know, from our lived experience, from our family line, from our culture and societal expectations about what and how our, our time is useful, how our money is useful, you know, how we show productivity, what goals are valued, what external 
medals and trophies are valuable and it's a lot for us to sit with so we need to be really kind as we sit with those things one at a time as they come up but really sitting in curiosity about what's the internal or external pressure I feel around this and am I really making the choices that serve me and my family or am I coming from a, a triggered response in my nervous system to please others to gain the experience the um, approval of others um, or to, you know, sing to some hymn sheet that I don't even want to sing from and I didn't even consciously know I was doing. So just an invitation to be with that today is with me and this sort of this sort of soft fluid curiosity as I'm watching the rain fall. So um, have a beautiful day. Um, we're just coming into the Easter break. So for those of you who are kind of school and work orientated or at holidays that's going to feel very significant I'm opening up the piece with PDA chat this evening which feels so two seconds ago since we closed the weekend one but I say I do try and open it over bank holidays as well to extend that um connection time that we normally do at weekends and of course this is a long bank holiday so I'll open that this evening for us and I will do the usual Friday cards and everything tomorrow but our chat will open early but I'm just thinking particularly of this conversation that I'm bringing in now. You know, look at how you're going into this time, what your expectations are on yourselves, on your productivity, on your output, on your, you know, how we do Easter list, whatever that looks like for you. And just be really gentle and kind as you put, put the space around that you need in whatever way that you need to give yourself permission for that. Okay, my lovelies, we are, actually my husband's off today because with the long bank holiday, he decided to take a couple of days either side and he's just connecting with us and our usual flow so he can have a bit of experience of being in my daughter's world as she goes about her flow with our home ed group and going to the gym and all the things we normally just kind of, is kind of following us along so he can, he can witness and share those experiences with us. So he's got those frames of reference when she talks to him about things going on. So that's what we're doing today. And um, we are actually going away next week. So I think for me, that's gonna mean that I won't be being present doing videos then because um, my commitments of sharing spaces with family and a flow means that, that that would be quite challenging for me to commit to so it may be that I'm not very present with you on video next week but you'll be very much in my thoughts and my heart but I will see you tomorrow anyway and I'll remind you of that lots of love bye